Marjorie Taylor Greene's latest stunt is a contest to join her on a helicopter wild hog hunt in Texas that is so ridiculous, I'm not sure if this is real life or a deleted scene from Idiocracy. Nothing says working for your constituents like a heavily armed elected official with the mental capacity of a potato on an out-of-state chopper trip. And we built hundreds of miles of border wall and completely finished our original border wall plan. It was all done, and then we said, let's add 200, 200 miles more. Ah, the builder who hasn't laid a brick or a willing woman in his life is now claiming he finished the wall, but then added more to a completed project, and then it was going to be done in three weeks. None of this makes sense. I mean, I know his fans aren't too swift, but these claims are just nonsense. Less than 80 miles of new barriers were built of a wall that Trump pitched as concrete and virtually impenetrable, but ended up with a short fence easily defeated by wind, rain, power tools, and ladders, and Mexico didn't pay for it. It is pouring MAGA tears. Marjorie Taylor Greene is running a crazy contest and a closer look at the fine print sees it's far from random, and I follow up on her recent kicking of an activist, plus, Ura! Trump backed super soldier J.R. Majewski has his wildly exaggerated military service exposed. By popular demand, I have a hilarious new, genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book, and I review the latest and stupid and more. The Cap Teeth wannabe Scarface tweeted OMG, <laughs> bring back mass is currently trending on Twitter. Guys, all of you mentally ill COVID freaks are more than welcome to voluntarily wear masks. No one is stopping you, but no more allowing your mental illness and irrational fears to control the lives and behaviors of sane people. Naturally, I replied, of course the guy who requires a tenor permanently up his decaying nose is losing it over face coverings. The thought of anything slowing down Diaper Don's runt spawn from accessing his daily dunce dust dosage is as scary as Kimberly's Pennywise makeup and MTG's bent spork feet. Yes, it's true. The same woman who chased down teenager David Hogg on a city street now wants you to get in a chopper with her to shoot wild ones in Texas. Even without the loaded guns, think of the noise. This is someone who scream whines every word and now she's got to do it in a chopper? Here's the thing. Margarine Taco Gristle's contest is rigged and contains a very big self-own. Looking at the contest rules... 50 potential winners will be chosen by random drawing from all eligible entries to be held by sponsor on no later than December 20th, 2022. So of all the entries, they'll draw 50 at random. Sponsor may, at its discretion, conduct a background check on each potential winner. Yes, the same person against background checks and registries requires a background check for her fake contest. Sponsor will, in its sole discretion, then select a winner from the list of eligible potential winners on the basis of criteria determined and applied by sponsor. In the event a winner does not pass the background check conducted by the sponsor, sponsor shall be entitled to pick a new winner using the same process identified herein. Even if the socks stay on, you are in great danger. I can't think of anything more frightening than getting in a helicopter with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Night after night, Tucker Carlson talks about rising crime, gangs, and fentanyl, but he seems pretty cozy here with the Hells Angels who were more than happy to overlook the sockless loafer look of their nightly white power broadcaster. Do not show this to NTG. Frozen TV dinner air, Tucker Carlson went to boarding schools in Switzerland and Rhode Island before attending Trinity College, a private liberal arts school in Connecticut. I hope you're just as excited as me to see the greatest president that the country has ever seen, Donald Trump. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is J.R. Majewski, and my pronouns are patriot and ass kicker. Proper use of gender identity terms, including pronouns, is just a way to signal courtesy and acceptance. It's really just about letting someone know that you accept their identity, and it's as simple as that. Speaking at a rally for a guy like me that grew up in uh, Toledo, Ohio, I got eagle bumps. We don't, get, we don't get goose bumps here. If you're at a Trump rally, you get eagle bumps, am I right? Yeah, what does he mean? 
Are you trying to stay warm? Are you nervous? Did you not think how stupid this sounded until it came out of your mashed face? The GOP is jumping ship from J.R. Majewski because it's reported he may have probably definitely lied about his military service. Majewski repeatedly claimed he served in Afghanistan. The evidence shows he was far from Afghan and probably only served airplane food. I flew in Iraq. Drones for Amazon, but still. The closest he came to Afghanistan was a six-month deployment to Qatar in May of 2002, loading and unloading planes as a passenger operations specialist. I've probably worked in Qatar more than he has, having done comedy shows there over the years with some totally unknown comedians, including Jack Whitehall and Dave Johns. Whatever happened to those guys? The National Republican Congressional Committee, which planned to spend roughly $1 million in support of Majewski, pulled the plug on his funding. This same guy used 120 gallons of paint to create a 19,000 square foot banner in support of Trump, and I doubt he'll get a lifeline from him. For those new to the show, I'm glad you found me. Thank you. For months, I've been reading a genuine page each week from Lauren Boebert's book. Today, we continue from where we left off as Lauren and her husband continue their elaborate plan to steal buns for their food stall. Let's get back to it. The rice's container wouldn't fit up with us, so I helped Jason with the Y heave it in the bed of our truck. Clever, as always, he used the tub of our marinating Newport smoked meat-looking food as a stool to stick his ankle monitor safely in that magic china kibble. Even though they made a wanton killing off the money I gave them, I knew they'd make the call and the donut squad would be here in moments. I didn't buy them off, but I did buy us some time. I flipped the tailgate up, securing our product and my sweet hubs, who let me know, What's taking you so long? Let's go, broad! Jeez! I put that sucker in drive and smashed the pedal on the right, screaming, Sayonara, suckers, out the window as we sped away from the chop suey house. Sometimes, you just gotta speak their language. I was still in my old McDonald's costume, but we could not risk stealing the buns until we knew his ankle monitor was dry and I put the finishing touches on my disguise. Jason could not hear me back there, so I got out my cell and tried to text him, but it was super hard because I was doing like 90. That's when I got the idea to go back to school. <laughs> not for education. Come on. <laughs> Lauren don't do school, but I did do the janitor once for a six-pack. I know you're wondering which one of you wildcats received the beer in that steamy broom closet transaction, but I'm not one to France kiss and tell. Hashtag teen life, hashtag janitor beer. I had the truck on two wheels enough times that I was really only looking in the rearview mirror to see if Jason was still there. A silly part of me imagined him bouncing out and hitting his head on the street, and then I'd just drive into the sunset and start a new life somewhere crazy. I went to the school on the way to our house, and eased off the gas just enough to safely text Jason. Look down, look up, look down, look up. This is a genuine cheat code for life. If you have to do phone stuff, do it in a school zone because you're going a little slower so it's easier to focus on your text message. I sent Jason a long one about finishing my disguise for tonight's bun heist and asking if his tracker was saved by the Rices. Look down, look up, look down, look up. I wanted answers, but he only sent me back three eggplant emojis, a devil face, and a water splash. <laughs> this was classic Jason with a Y. He put the same thing on my Christmas card and stapled a Trojan to it. Ribbed as always. I like that he thinks so much of me, even on American Jesus' birthday. I rounded the corner to our street and laid on the horn to let the neighbors know the Boberts are back. I hopped the curb to the sidewalk to put some fear into the dog walkers and give Jason a chance to tire iron the bird feeders and mailboxes. It was like a fairy tale. I hope you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burp's latest book. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll consider reading another page in the near future. Thank you. Deputy Communications Director of Voters Tomorrow, Mariana Pecora, was in D.C. advocating for youth rights where she had sit-down meetings with multiple members of Congress and tried to ask Marjorie Taylor Greene about some of the policies during a walk-in talk when the QAnon Congresswoman kicked her out of the way. Second Amendment, how does the Second Amendment protect gun You're the, walk, you're the one that believes that the insurrection is a terrorist 
You're blocking oh a member God. of Congress. Excuse me, ma'am. You're Excuse blocking me, a member of Congress. You need to stay away. Members of Congress. You can't block members of Congress. You, you, you're talking. you literally you cannot do that. that. Insane. You can't block members of Congress, but you can kick people. You're a paid activist. And she kicked you when you when you walked in yes. front of her. She 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 visibly right. kind of kicked you. And and did she harm you at all? I mean, what did she say when I'm it not, happened? Um, I'm not hurt, but she said, "Excuse me, excuse me." Wait, you weren't hurt? I thought we were the snowflakes. You tough girl. She repeatedly called Santiago, our executive director, a child abuser. She called us paid activists, which we are not. Um, and she was incredibly rude to us. Child abuser coming from Matt Gates BFF. MTG is just like Trump, a brainless loudmouth incapable of rational conversation. We met with over 70 other congressional offices and nobody else was at all disrespectful to us. They took us seriously. They listened to what young people had to say. They wanted to pay attention to what we believe in. And Marjorie Taylor Greene did not show us that same respect. We met with over 70 other congressional offices. They listened, they cared. And then the Bible lady bonked me with her spork feet. You are what happens when you are picked last in gym class, bruh. Mega tears. The TDS is strong on this channel. Mega tears. Jesus is Donald J. Trump, the greatest leader who was brave enough to bring peace to Middle East, put God in school, protect the amendments, and build a border, stop the foreign wave from polluting the country, and you retrying to destroy his achievements, and we will not stand for it. Mega tears. Globalist Fruit Party HQ. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.